Hello! <laughs> Here we are, we're set two. Hope I didn't lose you guys after set one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the way it feels, though. Just like that. Well, here we go. Now we're going into family right now. But I'm going to start off when I was five years old. Now, I didn't write the song when I was five. I wrote the song last year, okay? But it deals with me being a five years old uh, little boy with a dream. Excuse me. Of playing the guitar. Now, I had a guitar at the time, and I, you guys have seen that picture I had on Google+. I posted it to Google+. It's also on Facebook for family members to see it. But that guitar I had at the time got broke. My mom got tired of my room being a mess when I was about six or seven and took that guitar and broke it over the foot of my bed. Now, needless to say, I would learned the lesson after that because when I started playing the trumpet a few years after that, I did not leave that trumpet laying on the floor. <laughs> Here we go. The Dream. conversation like it was yesterday. My grandma, the one I wrote the song about uh, at grandma's house, she uh, <laughs> would sit there and would tell me, you know, EJ, we're going to see you on that TV someday. And I would sit there and I'd laugh. But you know what? You never know. <laughs> you never know. Now then, we're going to go to when I was 18. 19. I wrote this song then. And this song has a very 18, 19 year old feel. It's about a young gentleman, young lad, young teenager, and girls. Here we go. The best thing of all. Thing in the world is a 
it The best thing of all is I love you Bopper thing happening. <laughs> okay, now then, here we go. Now we're going to sing about my first vehicle, my first truck. 88 Ford Ranger, uh, the first thing, first one that was mine, brand new, 18 years old, <laughs> drove everywhere. And it looked like gold to me. Like a star. Here we go. I remember my own first truck. It was tan and new. First one off the lot. It drove like a dream. Had a new car smell. She laughed when she heard that. She goes, really? You're writing a song about your truck? <laughs> but you know, I have to confess, I got the idea of writing a song about my truck from Rory Feek, from Joey and Rory. When I heard him write a song about his truck <laughs> that he had and, and the relationship he had by having the truck or the relationship <laughs> that he had, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. For guys, it's funny. Their first vehicles are like, you know, like a first love. It's like you don't want to get rid of it. It took me a long time to get rid of that truck. It it sat for five, six years, not even running. And I still wouldn't get rid of it until it came down to get rid of it. This song is about a, a time when my daughter Michelle and I, we broke down. Now, I had a 
had a old 85 Mustang. It was, uh, it was just spewing oil, blown head gasket, and it left me stranded uh, between Vegas and, and Reno. But my dad said, you know what? Don't come back through Vegas. Head on through Pahrump on the way home. Well, I had never been to Pahrump before, so I didn't know what to expect when I got there. This song is about that experience. It's fine right here. Here we go. I was driving down the road when suddenly there was a problem. Oil pressure down, the town was high. Smoke from the river. ourselves a nice little room first time i'd ever stayed at a day's end and i'll tell you what it was nice and comfortable sweet live room bedroom two tvs cartoon network <laughs> my daughter michelle was loving that part and it with that air conditioner going it was not hot i hope you guys are enjoying the concert today um that's the end of set two look forward to set three you want a momentum <laughs> 